Yuzuru Hanyu. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about okay. Yuzu. Um, he is, of course, legend and icon in the sport, two-time Olympic champion. Mm -hmm. Talk about his return after his injury this season. Um, of course, the World Championships, Championships didn't necessarily turn out the way he wanted, mm -hmm. but still an incredible showing nonetheless. Yeah, and it was kind of a carbon copy of last year because he had the injury on the same foot and we had maybe a little bit more time off last year getting ready for Olympics, but you had those Olympics looming to kind of keep him motivated when he was ready to get back on the ice. And this time it was almost as long and it was um, a similar situation, but I guess maybe learning from last year, he knew exactly um, sort of the path to take to recovery and to trust and to know, you know, when it was safe to sort of turn up the heat and kind of go full steam ahead. And, and that's what he did because he did it last year and he had to do it this year. And it's not the easiest way to get to where you want to be. And, um, but he was, he pretty, he pretty well got there. And it was really, you know, I guess this is kind of his first time competing in Japan since he won the Olympics for the second time. So coming here, it was just like overwhelming. I just kind of braced myself when we were flying over, knowing that we'd get to the airport and there'd be a, a big media blitz. And then, um, and just the fans, you know, it was incredible. I, you were probably at the building when just, when he would walk up those stairs for a practice. Yeah. And this practice is sold out. And the, you could hear people, and the other guys are skating and you could hear this crowd and they're all going, oh, Yuzu showed up. Taking yeah. his warm-up jacket off, it's, it yeah. was as if someone was finishing their long program. I know. He skated right. on the ice and did like a Y stand and they were like, ah! Right. <laughs> you know, these other guys are busting their butts out there trying, you know, the quad flips and sows and stuff. And then he does a Y stand and it gets a big applause. You know, he's such a great ambassador for the sport and, you know, figure skating is alive um, because of, you know, what's what's been going on in Japan with figure skating and not just with him, but with with Shoma, and then now we have these new girls coming up, and in, in the past with Mickey and with Mao, so and Shizuka. So they've had a long history of greats, and so he has some big shoes to fill, but he's doing it really well, and he's doing it like a real champion. Absolutely, and speaking of being a real champion, um, I was reading a lot of the quotes from him and, and Nathan um, throughout the course of the week, and it just seems like there's a lot of very genuine mutual admiration mm -hmm. between them. Um, two incredible athletes, incredible talents, but also class acts, I think, yeah. and, and they're great representatives for the sport. Can you talk a little bit about that rivalry, the friendly, mm -hmm. respectful rivalry between the two of them, which I know Yuzu has had before, perhaps with someone like Javi? Yeah, I think the key word is respect, and yes, and Javi and Yuzu had some great respect for each other, but at the end of the day, you know, Yuzu wants to win, and mm -hmm. Javi wants to win, and Shoma wants to win, and Nathan wants to win. And which is fine, and that's that's what great athletes are all about. But they have respect, and I could even see it on practice sessions when you know someone's going down for a jumping pass with their music, and you know I'll see someone like Nathan kind of change his pattern a bit so that Yuzu can come in, and then Yuzu will do the same thing too. And if by accident they do get in each other, where they're kind of looking and like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and so that's great. But they both, you know, they're both still pretty fierce competitors, and that all. That fierceness happens when they get back to their training centers and they train. And I can guarantee you, you know, with with Yuzu, he'll be back soon, mm -hmm. and he's probably already figured out some math mm -hmm. on how we can get those extra points. And it was unfortunate in the short we missed about twelve points on that one jumping pass. So, you know, you see, so you add that in, and then you start looking realistically. Another point here and another point there, another, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, Yuzu's stamina was not up to the level yet to be able to get giant scores on the spins mm -hmm. and the steps, True. which has an impact on all the components. So there are a lot of points, and they, they can, he can still be, I mean, my message to him anyway is that he can still be very competitive mm -hmm. with Nathan. Now, but Nathan's been smart, his group, they've been smart because they're playing our game. So they know where to get those points. And for Nathan, it was not just in the technical ability of these incredible jumps, but, you know, his skating skills are getting better. Mm -hmm. You know, his spins are getting better. And, and we did the same thing when we were challenging and, and trying to compete with Patrick Chan. Mm -hmm. So you go back eight years, you know, we sat down and said, how can we get ahead of Patrick Chan? 
So sure, let's do our jumps. But he was a great jumper too. What was the standout for him? He's a great skater, mm -hmm. right? He's like a skater's skater. Yeah. And so it's like, that's what we have to work on. Yeah. Okay. We don't need to go out and get a quad lats right away. We need to work on this and it's gonna, it'll take time. Mm -hmm. So, and that's what we did. And every competition got a little closer and a little closer. And by the time we got to Sochi Olympics, we were at, like at par mm -hmm. with, with Patrick. And that was like a big step for us. So with Nathan and with, and Yuzuru, um, they're getting better because of each other. Now, how long they're go this will go on, I have no idea. And I guess that's sort of a question for Yuzu because mm -hmm. I honestly don't know the answer to that. And um, whether we, you know, I mean, next year, he has hinted a little bit about that, but he'll make that announcement. Mm -hmm. And whether he goes on to, to the Olympics in Beijing, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Do I think he can physically maintain this? The answer would be yes. Because yeah. wow. he loves it. He loves skating. He loves performing. He loves competing. What we saw here in Tokyo with with the fans. and yeah. Who could not love that? <laughs> right. It's special. It's very special. It's, and yeah, and then it just creates magic. And it, not just him, but there's some others. And there'll be some other ones kind of sneaking through too that will also create some magic. So it's it's good for the sport. And I guess we'll have to wait and see.